After launching the Desert X as its most off-road capable bike yet Ducati has upped the ante once more, with the higher spec Desert X Rally, a version that targets even more extreme use than the Dakar-inspired original. The Desert X Rally mirrors the upgrades made to Antoine Mio's factory-backed competition bike, which won the twin-cylinder class of this year Iron Road Prologue at the Erzberg Rodeo. As such it drops some of the Raleigh Raid looks of the standard Desert X, which has styling that pays tribute to the Ducati-engined Kajiva Elephants that took Eddie Orioli to Dakar victory in 1990 and 1994, and replaces them with motocross-inspired elements, including a high-mounted front mudguard and even taller, longer travel suspension than the stock machine. The 937cc Testa Stretta 11 degrees is one of the mainstays of Ducati range powering the Monster, Supersport, Hypermotard and Multistrada V2, and in the Desert X Rally, it's unaltered from the stock bike. That means you get 110 horsepower at 9,250 revolutions per minute and 92 newton meters at 6,500 revolutions per minute from an engine that ticks all the classic Ducati boxes including the 90 degree L layout and desmodromic valve train as well as some more recent family traits like long 15,000 km 24-month service intervals and 30,000 km valve clearance checks. Like the Desert X, the Desert X Rally mates the L-Twin to a transmission with dedicated adventure bike ratios, geared shorter than its street-biased equivalents to improve acceleration and low-speed control when riding off-road. Although a long sixth gear makes long-distance high-speed touring no chore, Ducati's DQS Quickshifter is standard with programming that's dedicated to the Desert X. A restricted version with 35 kilowatts is also available to suit A2 license holders. As on the standard Desert X, there's a huge array of modes and settings to play with these include six riding modes that pre-select settings from a quartet of power modes, three levels of engine braking, eight traction control settings, and four wheelie control strategies. They also change the settings of the cornering abs picking from three levels. The six riding modes are sport with full power touring and a 75 horsepower urban setting. There's also a wet mode that increases electronic aids, enduro mode with 75 horsepower and rapid throttle response, and rally mode with all 110 horsepower and a quick throttle, allied to minimal traction control and abs and deactivated wheelie control. This is where the Desert X Rally really departs from the standard Desert X, Ducati could have taken the easy option and just given the bike a cosmetic do-over to boost its off-road appeal after all. Even the standard Desert X is perfectly capable of hitting trails, but instead there's a top-to-toe revamp of the suspension. Starting at the front, the KYB forks are 2mm fatter than the standard bike's 46mm units, with a diameter of 48mm, and use motocross-style closed cartridge internals. That means the oil inside the forks is pressurized to prevent cavitation to make sure their damping remains consistent. As well as being fatter, the forks are longer than before, with travel increased from 230 mm to 250 mm. And they're given both a DLC coating to the sliders, and a hard anodized Kashima coating to the fork tubes. The forks are bolted to new top and bottom yokes made of billet aluminium that increase the offset by 1 mm. The rear changes are just as comprehensive, with a new 46 mm rear shock also from KYB, and a redesigned swing arm with a revised attachment point. As well as remote adjustable preload, it's got separate high and low speed compression damping adjustment and adjustable rebound. The rear spring is stiffer than the stock Desert X, rated at 96 mm instead of 90 mm, and wheel travel is increased by 20 mm to 240 mm. All these changes contribute to an increased ride height with 280 mm of ground clearance instead of 250 mm, and the seat height shifts up from 875 mm to 910 mm. While the wheels are the same diameter as the standard Desert by 21 inches at the front, 18 inches at the rear, and there's no change to the 90-90ths and 150-70ths tire sizes. The back wheel is half an inch narrower at 4 inches to improve off-road grip. The wheels themselves have hubs machined from solid aluminium, carbon steel spokes, and Excel rims. Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires are standard as on the normal Desert X, but with options of more off-road oriented Scorpion Rally rubber or street-biased Scorpion Trail 2 rubber. 
The 910mm seat height of the Desert X Rally puts it on a par with some of the most hardcore adventure bikes on the market. The BMW R1250GS Adventure with its seat in the tallest position for example, or the extreme edition of Yamaha's Tenere 700, so if you're stubby of leg, it might not be the bike for you. That seat itself is exclusive to the Desert X Rally with a design similar to the optional rally seat available for the Desert X, but a textured coating intended to improve grip. Other changes from the standard Desert X include the gear shifter and brake pedal, both machined from solid alloy and adjustable to suit off-road or on-road use. Ducati hasn't announced homologate fuel efficiency figures yet, but given the identical engine settings and gearing to the standard Desert X, it should offer much the same economy. The stock Desert X manages 54 mpg and with a large 21-liter tank that means a range of around 230 miles between fill-ups. An extra 8-liter tank, fitted on the tail, is available as an option to gain another 90-odd miles of range.